Today we're gonna to be adding $164 to these savings challenges. I'm gonna be completing a game and adding two new games. We're gonna do the 100 envelope savings challenge in two different ways. And yes, we will be playing Hello Honey. Today's version is called Civil War. Hmm, that sounds serious. <laughs> And while we do all of this, I'm going to be answering one of your questions. Yes, just one today. It's a good one, and I'm going to do my best to answer it. Let's see what it is. Let's start with counting up the cash and make sure I have $164. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yep, $164 to save with you guys today. And let's start with that game I said I was going to complete today. I am super excited to complete my words of affirmation. And what is that question that I'm going to be answering today? Here it is. It is from Marilyn Monroe. I love that name. Super cute. Marilyn Monroe. And she asks, what do you do with the money when you finish a challenge? I love this question because it gives the opportunity to really show why we do savings challenges in the first place, right? And how helpful they can be. So let's see, what did I say I was going to use my words of affirmation for? Hmm, there it is, goal, bathing suit. Yes, this goal is actually very special to me. I had mentioned to you guys that I cannot get my bathing suits from Walmart and Target anymore like I did back in the day. I need something with support for all of the things. And this type tends to be a little more expensive. So since this savings challenge is meant to remind ourselves of how ambitious, bubbly, friendly, honest, joyful, kind, all of these wonderful things that we are, I felt like this was a perfect one to use for a new bathing suit for me, me, me because this is my words of affirmation after all, right? These aren't my husband's words of affirmation or my mom's words of affirmation, they're my words. So for treating yourself once in a while with a savings challenge is one thing you can save up for. And I really like doing savings challenges for treating yourself purposes because it really does take away that impulse shopping guilt that we get sometimes if we go buy ourselves something out of nowhere that wasn't planned. We sometimes feel guilty, right? But this way, I actually took the time to really decide that I wanted this. And now that it's complete, I can truly say I deserve it. Ooh, so let's finish this out. We've got these funky letters, X, Y, and Z. And last week I said, what am I gonna do with the letter X? Well, you guys came through for me. A couple of you mentioned the word Zenus. And I actually Googled it because I was curious. I've never heard this word. Apparently it means a strong, confident woman. And it was derived from the female name Xena. And obviously I immediately thought of Xena the warrior princess, right? <laughs> Is that her name? Xena the warrior princess? So yeah, that totally makes sense. And I love that word, Zenus. And for why, I'm gonna use <laughs> young. And no, I am not necessarily what you would consider chronologically young, but I'm definitely young at heart. In my mind, I still think I'm like 25. So we're gonna go with young. I like that word. And the last one, is zen. I am a super calm person. So because the amount that I'm stuffing today is a little lower than it usually is, I've decided to change the rules up on the dollar amounts and I'm going to make the vowels worth 50 cents instead of $2 and I'm going to make the letters worth 25 cents instead of $1. So let's add this up. 50 cents a dollar, 25, 50, 75. So that is 
$1.75 for Zenus. And Young is going to be 50 cents a dollar, 25, 50, 75, another dollar, 75. And Zen would be worth 50 cents, 75 cents, $1 even. So all together, that totals $4.50. I'm gonna go ahead and round it up to five. So let's add the five and see what I ended up with for my new bathing suit. Ooh, I just saw a lot of 20s, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. $245. Yes, you guys, that is absolutely enough to get a super duper, super tight, super supportive bathing suit. Next up is my 100 envelope savings challenge binder. And in this one, I am saving up strictly $5 bills, 100 of them so that when it is completed, I will have five hundred dollars and where's this savings challenge money going this one is going towards my six month emergency fund so what that is is a long-term sinking fund and it is my number one goal for 2024 so if you have your 1000 and your emergency fund and you've paid off all of your debt your next baby step is three to six months expense in savings. And that is what I'm working on right now. So what did I put aside this week? One, two, three, four, five, $25, five more fives going in. Let's go ahead and stuff these fives. Okay, all five of them are in there. Let's go ahead and mark these off. One, two, three, four, five. So, so far we've got savings challenges can go for treating yourself and they can go for long-term sinking funds. Next up, let's do some place your bets. I am so glad I brought this game back out again. It has been too long since I have played it. And I noticed because of our question from Miss Marilyn Monroe that I did not have a goal attached to Place Your Bets yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down that this will also go for my six month emergency fund. That is a very important one and I wanna get it done in 2024. So if you've been following along, you know that I owe the game $34 from last week. So let's go ahead and pay that first. 10, 20, 30, one, two, three, and four. And let's see what I'm up to now. Place your bets has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, one, two, three, four, five, six, 66 dollars. So because Place Your Bets is a random game, and I actually like planning out exactly what each game is gonna get each week, I do what our girl Ray over on Ray's Budgets does with her random games. She goes ahead and she plays it, marks the amount down somewhere that she owes, and she pays it the following week. So you're always prepared. So I'm gonna cross off the 34, because we paid that just now. Let's get out these playing cards, and I'll tell you how to play Place Your Bets. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little better. So this one is very fun and very easy. You just place your bets on each suit in the deck, and I chose one, five, two, and five. You can put anything you want there. If you pull a face card, you save double that amount. Let's get started. Already I'm up to $10. That is a face card heart. Let's keep going. Three of clubs, up to $11. Doubling it this time, $13. 13 plus five, $18. 18 plus another five, 23. Let's go two more times. 23 plus 
25, 28. And 28 plus another five is 33. So let's go ahead and write that I owe 33 for next week. And let's get these symbols colored in. Okay, all done with place your bets. And next up is going to be one of these new plant lover games that I just posted in the Etsy shop. And I'm not gonna play all three. I'm just gonna add one to my mix. And I just wanted to show you real quick. It does come with the dashboards for your A6 or your A5, whichever one you use. And I think I'm gonna go with this one to add to my rotation. And I chose this one for a couple reasons. One, I love the way it looks. And two, this will be more of a quick win game. And let's go ahead and write the goal down here at the bottom. And I have chosen to put Peace Love Plants to my Verizon phones that I need to pay off. And if you follow along with my budgeting slash cash stuffing videos, you already know that I'm doing this savings challenge, erase debt one at a time to pay off those phones. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this challenge as a quick win to add to this challenge. So that is another place that your savings challenges can go. You can use them to pay off debt, pay down those balances a lot faster. And the reason that I like using savings challenges for paying down debt is savings challenge sheets are very motivating. As you color them off, you are seeing the progress that you're making and you're holding the cash that you've been adding each payday and it really just keeps you from giving up. Because as we all know, paying off debt is not fun but doing it this way definitely helps. So just real quick, so I don't forget, when I was doing my cash planning sheet for today, I realized that I just had an extra dollar laying around. So I'm gonna put it into this game. So it will be getting 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, but I'm only gonna color $21 worth of symbols. And I'm gonna do one of the love symbols for 10, one of the peace symbols for five, and two of the plant symbols for six. So let's get these colored in. Okay, all colored in, and you guys have to admit, coloring a savings challenge sheet and Doing it this way is much better than just moving money from one account to the other. And I haven't gotten the envelope together yet because I wanted to show you guys the dashboard. So I'm just gonna put this to the side for now. And next up are the scratch offs. And no, unfortunately today, I'm not gonna be playing the scratch offs, but I wanna show you guys something with this. So here's my scratch off envelope. And if you watched last week, you already know that I owe this envelope $15. I went a little crazy with the scratching last week. So we're gonna take the $15 and we're gonna add it in. And I have 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 103 dollars. So I'm gonna take this 103 dollars and I'm gonna add it to my erase debt savings challenge. So this is another way that you can use your savings challenge money. You can take smaller challenges like the scratch offs and add it to bigger savings challenges that maybe aren't quite as fun as scratch-offs and pay this down a lot faster. So this savings challenge, each one of these erasers is worth $43. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in two of the symbols. And yes, 103 is a little over the 86 that I'm marking off, but that's okay. It just means I'm paying it off faster. 
It just isn't necessarily marked and I'm okay with that. So this particular savings challenge, obviously I was not that thrilled about it. I don't wanna give Verizon $1,030 for a couple phones. So I actually did lose some motivation on this one. And what I've done so far to bring back my motivation is I lowered the amount that I was saving for each symbol, that helped. And like we just did, I'm taking those smaller challenges and I'm putting it towards this one to get this one out of the way. So remember that savings challenges are really about keeping your interest in whatever your goal is fresh, fresh in your mind and helping you get it done. 100, 200, 250. Two eighty. Seventy. Plus twenty nine. I am up to $629, which means I owe 401. This one is going very quickly. And I have to say that if I was not doing savings challenges, I don't think I would have anything saved up for this Verizon situation. And next up is our spring version of Wordle. I completed the winter version. So now we're gonna take out this dashboard and we're gonna put in the new spring one. And this game, if you haven't seen it yet, it is based on the New York Times game Wordle. So you just play the game online and it gives you six tries to guess the word of the day. So however many tries it took you to get the word, you save a dollar per try. And we also have the 25 cent version, where you would just save it 25 cents per try. I'm gonna do this one. And I did play three times this week. I played on the 9th, the 10th, and the 12th. And the words were merge, broth, and whiny. And I got them in five, four, and four tries. So Wordle today is getting five, 10, 11, 12, $13. And as you can see, this game takes some time. You can only play one word per day. And I think there are 30 entries on these sheets. So this is going to take me at least a month to complete. So I've decided to make this one also for my six month fund. And that's if I haven't reached it yet. So say I reached my six month fund and then I completed Wordle then I would just change the goal. You're allowed to do that too. You can change a savings challenge if you don't like it. Maybe you're bored with it. You need a new tracker to look at. Every single thing that you do with any savings challenge is completely up to you. You can even change goals. Okay, next up is my new 100 envelope challenge box. I love this little box. I showed this to you guys last week. I got this from Carrie J Budgets. She is on Etsy. And I should have mentioned to you guys that she has all kinds of designs. I got the B design for obvious reasons, but she also has a watercolor design, cat, butterflies, tropical, just tons of stuff. So I'm gonna link her below for you guys. And today I am giving three tens with this 100 envelope savings challenge, I'm saving all tens so that when it's complete, I will have $1,000. Yes, a thousand. I'm loving it and I can't wait to complete it. And what am I gonna do with this $1,000? I have decided that this money is gonna go into my medical envelope. I just really wanna get that one up. I feel like every time I get it to a pretty decent amount, like over $1,000, something manages to take it. So that is another thing that you can use saving challenges for. Things like medical bills, car repairs, house repairs, taxes, tuition. It is endless, right? Things that we just need to be ready for. So a larger savings challenge like this one is a great idea to get that larger amount for things that you need. I hope that answered 
Marilyn Monroe's question, and I'm sure she's not the only one that wonders where the money goes. It is so many different things and it is totally up to you. Sometimes I get the comment that your money seems to be spread out everywhere. Now some need to see the money to keep going, but some don't. And if you're one of those people, you could keep your money in your savings account or your checking account and use what we call prop money and budget sheets to keep track. Have a binder like this one, but instead of yours being filled with envelopes full of cash, your envelopes could have the prop money as a visual reminder and then the budget sheet to keep track of what your category is, where the money is, and how much you have. Just do it however you need to do it in order to see progress. There is no wrong way to save your money. So with my last $20, I'm gonna pay what I owe Hello Honey for last week. We played You're Such a Square. 113 of you responded, letting me know how much you saved. I take all of your totals, $2,210. I average it out and it came to an even 20 bucks. So let's add this in. And yes, I saved the best for last this time. A lot of times I squeeze Hello Honey in the middle of the video, but today I'm waiting till the end and it's gonna be a fun one. So get ready. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. I have $156 saved up in my Hello Honey. Okay, so if you're new to Two Sister Bees and you've never played Hello Honey before, you are gonna love this. Hello Honey is a savings challenge that we play together here on the channel every Sunday. And the games are random ideas that I just come up with. And it makes saving fun for me and you. This is the free tracker, it is linked below. Just click it and print it out and play with us today. Come on. Yes, you, you can join in at any time. And if you really like it and you wanna add a little bit more, you can click on any savings challenge video and you will find a new Hello Honey game to play. And real quick before we start, a few of you have let me know in the comments that what you'll do is you'll save up one row. And as soon as that row is done, you'll take that amount and you'll put it into one of your goals. And I love that idea because this does take some time. This is 19 weeks worth of playing Hello Honey. So after five weeks, if you wanna go ahead and take your savings and put it into your high yield savings account or to another savings challenge or to treat yourself, or to pay down a debt, all of the things we talked about today. I love that idea and I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, let's get ready to play Civil War. Put your hand. I'll tell you when. <laughs> and to get and to play today. And I get <laughs> and to today. I can't think when you do that. Oh, <laughs> no, you're not. And to play today's game, we have a special guest. You all know him. You all love him. <laughs> it is my amazing husband, Jason. Party people, <laughs> saving money. Yes, Jason is going to play with us today, Civil War. And what we're going to do, this is so easy, you guys. We are going to play an old-fashioned game of war. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. First, you guys want to pick your team. Are you going to be Team Jen or Team <laughs> Jason? <laughs> Pick your team, Jen or Jason, and then Jason and I are gonna... We're gonna play war, but we're really not gonna, I mean, it's with cards, right? <laughs> play eight rounds of war, just like we did when we were kids. And what you guys do is pick your dollar amount that each round is worth, whether you win or lose. So if you are on team Jason, for every round of war that he wins, you're gonna save this amount. 
and for every round that he loses, you'll save this amount. That way you guys are saving for every single round. Now, if you have a partner at home with you, the two of you can just play eight rounds of war with each other and play it that way. Okay, you guys ready? You got your team and you got your dollar amounts. Okay, so I'm gonna give Jason half the deck. Cut the deck. Cut the deck, Jason. Cut the deck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he gets half the cards. All right. I get this half and round one, here we go. Jason won that one. Round two, ooh, war. One, one two, two, three. Oh my gosh, we did Oh, again. no way. Come on. One, one two, two, three. All right. Ah! I worked really hard for that win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one for Jason and one for Jen. Let's go. Jen. Ah! Round four. That's two. One. That's one for Jason. Well, two for Jason now. We're still, t we're tied. Two and two. Okay. All right, round five. Ooh, oh one, two, three, Yahtzee! Oh, Jason. Yeah! Team Jason got that one, so he has three, and I have two, round six. Jason. <gasps> round seven. Jason. Oh! <laughs> I would say Jason wins, round eight. And he wins again, oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, Six. And I have two. Oh my gosh. Team Jason, you guys didn't just win. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> All right. So we're not going to stop there. No way. Jen's not going down like that, right? Team Jen, no way. We are going down like that. We, we got to give mama play. a second chance. <laughs> yes, you do. We are going to do a bonus round. I know you guys love bonus rounds. I haven't really done one in a while. So let's do one today. And we're going to play with dice. So if you want to challenge yourself and save a little bit more, that's what the bonus round is for. And at this point, you can switch teams if you want to. So we're going to do it again. Pick team Jen or team Jason. We're going to do one round and I want you guys to pick the amount that you want to save. And this is an all win, all lose round. You will either be saving what you want to save or you will be saving zero. We're gonna save some money. Okay, Team Jen is gonna get the pink dice. I'm gonna take the black ones. And then how does this work? Got three dice. We each have three dice. Jason, what's your favorite number? Uno, dos, tres. Three, okay, so Jason's favorite number is three. And what we're gonna do is we're both gonna roll our dice. Whoever rolls all three of these dice to the number three first, wins but there's a catch if one of the dice falls on the floor you have to pick them all up and start again okay so jason's gonna give you guys a trial run to show you what i mean Go ahead, so we're gonna roll all three until one gets a three boom so i'll take these two and i'll continue rolling both of these until i'm gonna get a three correct yes yahtzee nope come on Oh, that was one. Oh, oh, and oh starting over. So all three start over. Ah! Okay, so this is going to be absolute mayhem. Okay. I can tell already. All, all right. right. So I'm going to count down three, two, one, and we're both going to start. Try Do to get... one, two, three. No, I, whatever. Try... I'm kidding. <laughs> Try to get all okay. three dice with the number Let's three do it, without dropping any yeah. on the floor. Let's go, sweet You're going to get so excited. I Come can on. tell already. All right, ready? <laughs> go. One. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you didn't do the countdown. I I was count. All right. Trickery. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. I didn't even look. Oop, there's one. They think it's cheater. Cheater, cheater, fucking cheater. Oop. Boom! Done! Oh my god, I told you guys he was gonna get excited. <laughs> Jason wins. Again, oh my gosh, you guys are never going to pick Team Jen again, are you? Jason got all three threes. Poor sad Jen got none. Okay, you guys. Hey, we're saving money. That's the most important thing, correct? Yes, we are. Shit, shake. Civil War is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Make sure you comment below how much you saved. 
because I need to know what I'm gonna save. And I'm sure some of you have noticed that um, this is a new tracker and I actually lost <laughs> my tracker. I don't know what I did with it. I think I may have thrown it away by accident. So I have to go back through my videos and see what these were worth and recolor them in. But yes, comment below how much you saved and whether you were Team Jen or Team Jason. Hello, honey. And if you are new to the channel and you're anything like the rest of the hive, you love to have fun when you're saving your money. And you may not know about twosisterbees.com yet. My sister April, the other half of Two Sister Bees, we have just launched two membership clubs on twosisterbees.com. One of them is called The Clubby and one of them is The Scratch Off Club. And for The Scratch Off Club, there are packets every month, new themes that you will have mailed to you. Some of the perks that you will see, some are on the clubby and some are on the scratch off club. We have things like buy one, get one free scratch offs, half off savings challenges, rotating discounts on different shop items, limited kits, mystery packs, special videos. What? Yes all kinds of things and more is coming. TwoSisterBees.com is all about encouragement, excitement, and bringing some newness to jumpstart right when you might be feeling a little burnt out. We are not gonna let that happen. Stick with us, April and I got you guys. Together, uh, her and I, we've been through bankruptcy, foreclosure, divorce, job loss, ruined credit, all of it. But you know what? We got through it and we're gonna get you through Two. So go over to twosisterbees.com and see what we have and get signed up. And the last thing I want to update you guys on is we are once again having another giveaway. Click here and see how to get entered right now.